The 690 and Titan were fighting. Those cards were fast as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. Cause they fought with expert timing. So what's up guys? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Elric Ferris, your host. We're obviously, today we're bringing you video one of the Titan from the people at NVIDIA. So you fans out there who love the green, today's your day to see Battle One, where the Titan takes on the GTX 690. Now, I know some fools out there are gonna go, oh, hey man, it's a dual card to a single card, but hey, at this price level, it don't matter, baby. Dual single, they're up there in the expensive card range. Now, I just wanna take note of one thing. You guys are gonna be pretty trippy about how some of these tests were because they're kind of close in a lot of areas, and we've got one test where the Titan actually jumps ahead. So with that said, let's jump in and let's begin the battle. Okay, Rumble fans, first battle today, Battlefield 3. Who's the winner? Well, check it out. You guys can see behind me that we've run the scores in both 2560 by 1600, 1920 by 1080, and you can see that the 690 clearly wins by about 10 frames per second. Now, we are running the very latest beta driver that they have out, which runs with all cards across the six series. Next up, Borderlands 2. You guys know it, it's some crazy shiznik out there. You kill all kinds of crazy stuff. In this one, once again, you guys can see we've tested again in 2560 by 1600. Once again in 1920 by 1080. And you guys can see that the 690 also clearly wins in this as well. Next up, Unigen Heaven. You guys all know and love it. It tests out and showcases the features of a Direct X11. We've run it on its extreme features. You guys can check this out. You can see the 690 is clearly winning by about 12 frames per second in this as well. Now, last but not least, it's the latest game in the market and obviously Nvidia has taken the time to optimize the drivers. And for a change of pace, here we see the Titan beating the GTX 690 in both 2560 by 1600 and 1920 by 1080. Now, it only beats it by a hair, but here you see a single card beating dual card technology, which means that actually, as NVIDIA improves these drivers and things get better, you can actually might see the Titan pull ahead in more tests. Now let's talk about temperatures. When we ran the Fire Strike demo at its highest temperature rating, we can see that there was a two degrees difference between the 690 and the Titan, with the 690 being two degrees hotter, which really isn't surprising since it is a dual GPU card. Now that you guys have seen what we've got right here, we actually have a lot more over on our website. We have a lot more pictures and a lot more benchmarks of the 690 versus the Titan. So if you guys would like to check that out, it will all be in the link in the description below. Like usual, I hope you folks like this video. If so, show me that love, hit that like button and make sure that I know that you appreciate me as much as I appreciate you. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so and we'll see you back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech goodness. And lastly, folks, before I bounce out of here, let me see in the comments below what you guys would like to see next. Do you want me to see it against the 7970 gigahertz edition, the six gigabyte, the three gigabyte? You want me to do it against the 680? Whatever comments I see the most below will be the next video that we do. So peace out, love you, and hope to see you back here again.